Hey, peeps. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday. Might look like it's the same day, but it's a different day. It's Thursday, February 18th. So, yeah. This is going with my part two of my DIYs on my video. So, it's like a... An introduction to part two, basically. <laughs> so, today was a rough day. I won't say rough, but it was productive, very productive. My neck still hurt, of course, but it is what it is. I'm not even going to trip about it because how that song say, be grateful because it's always someone else worse off than you. And there's somebody, there's someone who would love to be in your shoes so what else but i'm trying to uh work out the kinks yeah um i washed today finally through with that yeah and i had some harris chicken i had a breast dinner so i'm kind of stuffed right now Oh yeah, yeah. Tired now. I'm ready to uh just chillax. So on that note, I hope everybody um have a uh, blessed, safe, productive Friday and overall weekend. Be safe out there. Be productive. Be wise. And all that y'all cause we are truly living in the last days. I remember my grandma oh story time. That can't be part of the DIYs, y'all. I got to say that, man. Alright, y'all. <laughs> yeah, still rocking my braids. On that note, alright. Enjoy part two of my DIYs. I bought me some more essential oils. Ring, cut the bathroom light out for me. Got me some frankincense. Finally, we should note, despite the state's dire fiscal situation, there is yeah, frankincense. Of urgency here. <laughs> I got me some myrrh. Yeah, cut the bathroom light out for me. Springfield, Charles Thomas, and this is my pan. <sighs> I'm glad the glad I'm glad the floor ain't hard. I got my pan for my bathroom cleaner, and I'm make my own. I'm make mop water, like which has vinegar, water, and essential oil, or whatever else. I bought two pans. Because I really like that smell. Then I got cedarwood. This is what I put in my bathroom cleaner. Pan and cedarwood and some tea tree oil. And I got some major major ram. It's supposed to be good for aches and pains and joints. So yeah, I made a concoction for my neck. And I be rubbing that my concoction on my neck with olive oil. Basil and peppermint, and it works. It's just I just seriously need a new pillow, and I got some menthol. This is what I use for my vapor rub. You have to melt this, dissolve this, because <clears throat> in this regular form, it's in it's like a solid state hard, but you melt it, it dissolves, and I just mix it in. So yeah. It's some more essential oils I want. I'm getting that slowly but surely, y'all. So, yeah. All my stuff right there. Yeah. So, I think that's about it. And this is the Castile soap I be using. Dr. Bronner's. This got almond in. I use this for my um, body wash. That's almost gone. 
And I got a new one. And this lavender. That's for whatever. When my body, for, I'm, I, yeah, I need to make me some more body wash too, y'all. So when I get through doing this, I'm going to edit. I might make my stuff and then edit this video because it takes me a minute to edit. And I don't want to be rushing. So I guess that's all I want to share with y'all. Yeah. And, uh, this my uh, bathroom cleaner. With the pan, cedarwood, baking soda, Castile soap, and um, tea tree oil in it. I just shake it up. I might add some more. See, I do, the ingredients they gave me for was like, like a, six, a 16 ounce bottle. But mine's bigger than that. So I kind of think I need to add more ingredients. Because I like my stuff kind of real strong. It's therapeutic for me <laughs> when I'm cleaning. So I'm going to add some more stuff to it. Right For right now, it's cool though. I'll probably just add some more Castile soap and some more baking soda. If the essential oils is pretty good, I might add some more pine though. I don't know, y'all. I'm be playing around with it. But yeah. And, uh, my body wash. Yeah, so I got two things for body washes. So, just picked up the camera to share that with y'all. Oh, yeah, and I bought this too, y'all. I bought this too. How about this? This going to this this going to refrigerator. You cut them. You cut them. You go on this side. You cut them to fit the glass shell so it'll catch spills. And they won't have to be like always washing the glass all the time when they have to clean the refrigerator. These this this is washable. So when I like wash on Thursdays, I can just put it in a washing machine and wash them. And you cut them to fit the shape of your glass shelves and stuff and it could go in the part well you have to cut it that's some good cutting though where you like keep your sass the stuff on the side of the refrigerator i might not put none right there i'm just mostly concerned about the glass shelves and stuff and i got red i love red i haven't did that yet i don't know when i'm gonna do that i think when the next person have to clean the refrigerator and we gonna cut it and um add that and put them in the refrigerator so i think i got the yeah this is the what it's called refrigerator liners set of six and this what you do with them they got green i want it red so yeah and I think the refrigerator get cleaned on the 20th. So yeah, then my dry balls, my essential oils, fragrance oils. Put your thing back. And you know why I forgot to give me back some soap for my face. I forget. I gotta go to vitamin shop, y'all. That's where I get my soap from. It's like four dollars. Can you screw this on back? And y'all, I uh, I bought them some um <clears throat> bags. Our next art project, I'm gonna do. I got some tote bags. I got these from Michaels. 
And they're gonna decorate it for some. I don't know. Spray. I bought some spray paint. They're gonna decorate them or whatever. And I got um. Ugh. I got some fabric spray paint so they can decorate the bags. And I got some iron on leathers. They're gonna make them some t-shirts. I got them two white t-shirts. And I got this this stencil. They're gonna put it on the bag, like like so. Yeah. And I got three of these. It was three in a pack. So yeah. The bag. So yeah. And the iron on letters. I already got paint too. I got a lot of paint. <laughs> From our other projects, we made shirts before a couple of times. So, I got a lot of little stuff. I keep it right here. Kyra took some of my paintbrush and iron on ladders from the other shirts we made. Numbers. Some more stencils. Glue gun, glue sticks, more iron on ladders, <laughs> and paint, gel paint, whatever, paint. Then I got these. I got all this from Amazon. And this the Bonda acrylic paint. You have to put this with it, the acrylic paint to help it stick to the fabric. So yeah. And I got ladder numbers. Y'all can see that. So, yeah. For the t-shirts. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go. Yeah, this all my paint. So yeah, some of the sponges. I'm gonna need a bigger tote. I'm gonna have to give me a little tote, y'all, to keep all my stuff. Stuff falling out. Carver took a lot of my uh, acrylic paintbrushes. Cause she got art, but I'm gonna need them back when we get ready to start working on our project. And my label maker. Yeah, I got this off Amazon too. Yeah. So now I gotta get off this floor, y'all. But can you put that back in there? In that bag. I just felt like I've been very foolish, but I've never spent the night in the hospital before. So, yeah, I think they t shirts. It's in here, too. These the t shirts. Yeah, I got these from Michaels. When you're on bed, you just don't know when the end is coming. Shan, rings, and they gonna uh, iron letters on there. Shan wanted purple. Rena want pink. Shan favorite color is purple, and Rena favorite color is pink. <laughs> We haven't made no t-shirts representing homeschooling, so that's what these gonna be. It's called Sharon Academy. So they gonna put Sharon Academy and on some letters that say that. 
So yeah, that's what that's about, y'all. So I don't know about my borax, but I researched. They was like borax is the best, you know, so powder to use. It's natural for household cleaning stuff. So yeah. So, I guess that's it. It's almost 5 o'clock. We got to read. We read around 5. But I'm going to go make a couple of DIYs. My uh, bathroom cleaner. And my uh, air freshener. You want me? I ain't, I ain't gone yet, yet. But on that note, y'all. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoy my little. I don't know what that was. It was just all over the place. My DIY stuff, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I hope my neck feel better. Um, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably I probably will do a fun fact. I mean, a Friday fact. On that note, peeps, I'm out of here. I'm tired. Peace. And love. Share some. Want to say bye to the peace, bye? <laughs> he tired, y'all. He didn't even have to work today, but he tired. He had to take the truck. Get the fluids changed and all that goodness. Yeah. All right. See ya.